So usually, guys, I wouldn't review a card like this, but I'm actually very, very interested in this Zuba Leader. If you guys know how broken Kunde is on this game, you will know that Jockey Plus is a very interesting playstyle to have on centre-backs. Now, not only that, guys, this card is very, very cheap. 82 rated squad with 285s in the squad as well, so extremely, extremely cheap. But also, not only that, this card has got insane stats. 80 pace, 72 shooting, 83 passing and 81 dribbling on a centre half is incredible. 86 defending and 88 physical. Now he is only 5'11", which I believe is exactly the same as Jules Kunde. Can only play centre back and is controlled lengthy. Looks like a card that would be really good as a CDM, especially with his play styles. Of course, Jockey Plus, Long Ball Pass and then Bruiser. But I'm telling you guys that I think this card is going to be incredible in game. We're going to test him out here today. And he's got good shooting, which doesn't really matter. He's got a good pace split, which is important. 80 and 80. Really, really good passing. 81 vision, 91 short pass and 86 long pass. He's going to be so good for flinging in balls in over the top to your fullbacks and stuff like that. He's also got incredibly good dribbling stats. His composure is a little bit lower 81, but ball control at 81 is good. So is the dribbling at 79. Good reactions at 89 as well. Agility and balance both 82 is going to be insane with that jockey plus, I'm hoping. Defensively, very well-rounded as well with good interceptions, defensive awareness, stand tackle. And then very good physicals for a small man as well. 89 jumping, 87 stamina, 87 strength, and then 93 aggression. This is the team we are playing him in, guys. And with my tactics that I did upload the other day... This is going to be really interesting to test this card out because it's going to be very, very aggressive and he is going to be one of the last lines of defence with Lady King with everybody else pushing forward. Let's get into a few games and see what this man can do. If you need cheap, fast and reliable FC24 coins, make sure to go to MMOEXP.com and use my code VIPER to get 5% off your order. Right then, guys, first game now coming up with Zuba Leader and we are just going to stay here and we're going to stay live and you're going to see everything. If he's good, if he's bad... But you see, with him being able to do that pass right there, and it connect cleanly very, very often, I think it's going to make this card very, 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 very good, personally. He's hitting that fair play. Oh, super leader. Thank you, thank you. Oh, my God, what was that? What was that? Now, I'm going to put the ball into him quite a lot here to try and get the uh, see what the passing's like with him. Because I don't think there's a centre half on the game, off the top of my head, anyway, that has as good passing as him. Now, that is an L1 triangle, by the way. That's an L1 triangle, and he's just found that like that. That's a positive start, man. Oh, guys, this might be that kind of card that nobody's going to complete, but you, you're going to regret not completing him. It's just an upgraded version of Kunde. That's all it is. You know, and a lot of people look at the Trailblazer Kunde, and they think, oh, I like the look of that card. Problem with Trailblazer Kunde, oh, good save, is that, he has slide tackle plus, which isn't a very good play style. And to have as a plus, generally speaking. Already, what we've seen here is very good, right? The ability to kind of play that ball to your fullbacks comfortably or your wide players is good. And it's also very good for just switching the play generally as well. So, a good, good start, if you ask me. There you go. That's an even better start with that 1-0 from Frankie there. He's player locking. Okay, what a test this is going to be. I'm going to go back into him here as well. Fling that over there. Can he find it again? I am telling you. I am telling you guys this card is going to be overpowered as all hell. And nobody is going to know about it. Because people just don't understand how good um, that passing ability is. And there he is again as well. Oh, man. This is the kind of card that I've been crying out for. Um, I like playing with my centre-backs. Sounds a bit strange, doesn't it? I like playing with my centre-backs. I like being aggressive with my centre-backs. So for a card like this to come out with the jockey, you know, I'm going to have Virgil alongside him once I uh, change my team up a little bit. Go on. Oh, 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 guys. This super leader is going to be one of them cards, man. I mean, I think we've already seen enough, right, to kind of suggest what I'm trying to say. I think the jockey plus and bruiser with him actually a really good combination nice pass man now the, the only thing i do really care about is to make sure he's good at defending and he's got a good pass on him and oh my god does he jesus lord he has a good pass oh dear me guys yeah so 
basically what I would say is if you're trying to get better at the game and you like kind of being aggressive with your fullbacks, which I think is important on this year's game, get this card and he'll be great for you. You know, he doesn't have anticipate, which is a bit disappointing. But if he did have anticipate, it would literally be the most broken card in the world. Because of, you know, J Jockey Plus is one of them play styles that hardly anybody has. So you don't really get to feel it very often. Oh my God, man. Um, so when you do get it, if you know how to use it, which is, you know, it's, it's very good for kind of turning quickly, of course. Guys, this card is brilliant. How on earth are EA giving this for an 82 rated squad? Probably because of the club, right? Being saucier dad and that. His R1 dribbling doesn't even feel bad. Look at that. It's like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, I'm, I am impressed. <laughs> I, I'm not just impressed, guys. I am kind of blown away that this card is here. And it really is going to be one of them ones that nobody's going to bother with. And it's going to be quite sad because nobody's going get, to get to experience this level of a player. And it's... It just is levels. I don't know if the pros will play with him. You know, I don't know if that's going to be the case. That's a great tackle. No chance. He got the ball there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if the pros are going to play with him. But from what I know about this game, th this is one of them cards that I feel like you have to complete. The passing is perfect. The passing is absolutely perfect, man. I mean, look at that, guys. How many centre-backs can you do that with? Now, I know Virgil has got that as a play style, the long ball pass. He can't do it like like the Zuba leader can. Because Zuba leader's also got the vision, the long pass and the short pass to kind of make up for it as well. The card's just levels. All right, guys. So I know this is a quick review and I have already made my opinion on this card. You can see that we've got an anchor in. I don't know if I talked about that, but with the anchor applied, great pace, great defending and insane physicals. This is the best SPC of FC24. Now, before you go and dislike the video or you comment and you say, oh, why is this the best SPC of FC24? Watch the gameplay and listen to my thoughts here, right? So, Jockey Plus is one of the most underrated play styles on the game and it's very hard to kind of use it because there's no centre-backs that are good that have it other than Kunde, who's a little bit behind the power curve now, right? And if we go and we take a look at Kunde real quick, we're also going to look at Virgil as well. But let's go and take Kunde's gold card because the Trailblazer version of him just isn't very good. So Kunde here versus Zuba Leader. Zuba Leader's got four less pace. <coughs> Excuse me. But Zuba Leader's better everywhere else or on a par with the defending at 86. Eight better physical. He's got six better dribbling. Look at how much better passing he's got as well, guys. Now, that passing on a centre-back you might look at and you might go... Oh, is it really that important? And the answer to that is yes, because this year, or right now, one of the best play styles on the game is long ball pass, especially if you can get it as a play style plus. But as a default, you might think, you know, it's not very good on a centre-back because they don't really have the vision and the short pass and the long pass to make up for it. And that is the case with Virgil, right? He has got long ball pass. He's got awful vision. He's got okay short pass and long pass. But the vision destroys him. Now, when you compare that to Zuba Leader, 81 vision, great short pass and long pass with a long ball pass as well. It really does make a difference in game if you like to be on the front foot. Your centre-backs are your last line of defence, but they also start your attacks. And if you go and watch the gameplay that we just done, you'll see how good Zuba Leader is at starting an attack over to your full-backs. If you see someone running in behind, Zuba Leader can find that pass very good to your wide players as well. His passing is on point. That is the best thing about this card, but also Jockey Plus is very good. And Bruiser is actually quite good because he's only 5'11". And you know, his, his stats are incredible. And yes, you could play him as a CDM. Absolutely. I personally think playing him at centre-back, trying to get used to the Jockey Plus, which is very good in-game as well, and you know, utilising the long ball pass is everything, guys. Now, I, I'm going to keep him in my team. I'm going to use him this weekend league. I think this card's amazing. I think this is the best SBC of FC24. He's 18,000 coins, guys. Just go and complete him. Go and try and get used to him. As I said, it's not the easiest to get used to these kind of cards. Jockey Plus is very good, especially mixed with the fact that he's got great agility and balance. But 
if you play with overlap, overlapping fullbacks or you put your wide players on stay wide, this card will be a dream for you because he can find them over the top, send long balls to them players with absolute ease. And I've tried that quite a lot with Virgil. It just doesn't work because of his vision. This card can do it. And I promise you, it is very valuable in game. Go and pick him out. You will not regret it, man. He's he's 18,000 coins and he's arguably the best centre-back on the game. If he had anticipate, he would be the best centre-back on the game, in my personal opinion. Very good for ball-playing centre-backs and very good for them kind of players that like holding the ball and building attacks with your defenders. You will enjoy this card a lot. He's going to get a 10 out of 10 from me. I think him next to Virgil might be one of the best partnerships on the game. Guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell to miss a of you. But guys, that's going to be it from me for now. So take care.